Uh, oh my god. Okay, we got another story. We want to cover this. Americans spend 25% of their income on child care, and Biden wants to change that. All right, let me grab that. And more grills. And Cabela's is coming up, by the way, Tom. Here's a pellet hopper one. They have nice pants for me to buy. And something that is, what is $1,900, that? and I have no idea what it is. What? It's very expensive. You got to click on it and find out what it is real quick. All right, fine. Looks like a bidet. That's an expensive bidet. It is oh, an electric composting, composting toilet. toilet. <laughs> that is some expensive shit. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Oh, that was good. I feel like you could just take a shit in a bucket and throw it outside for like a lot less than two <laughs> a lot grand. less money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this story. Oh, this story is from ads that come up. Okay. Yeah, this there's a lot from, of ads on this one. Yeah, so much. The story is from The uh, Guardian. Americans spend 25% of their income on child care. Biden wants to change that. Um, th this is, I, and there's a subheading here, I think, actually, see, so it's the whole story as far as I'm concerned. As one sociologist put it, other countries have social safety nets. The U.S. has women. That needs to change. Yeah, yeah. You know, <clears throat> when you're looking at whether or not you can afford a house, they calculate your house payment against your income. And there's generally accepted that you never want to go, and this would be the absolute high end, you never want to spend more than 40% of your take-home income on your home payment. If you're spending 40% of your fucking income on your home payment and then 25 fucking percent on child care, you're 65% in. You haven't paid a utility bill, a car, bought any food. It's fucking outrageous. Yeah, yeah. And we we are at a place, I was just listening to something the other day, Cecil was talking about like demographic trends in America. We're, America is on pace right now for about 1.7 kids per family the replacement or per woman the replacement because not per family it's per woman the replacement value is 2.1 so we're we're at a place where our population is shrinking the way and, you're saying this makes it sound much worse than it is though when you're like the replacement value is <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound good when you say it like that it doesn't yeah. it really but we're gonna have an we're, we're we're running into a place we're gonna have the upside down pyramid right where yeah, you're gonna very have, much like japan has right, right now yeah. It's not sustainable. You're going to have a ton of elderly people. And you're not going to have enough people in the workforce. And that's no fucking good. So you need women to be in the workforce. And we need child care to be something we all agree to invest in. Or women are not going to be able to enter the workforce. Or they're going to have less kids than they would otherwise have. And we, we, there's no getting around this. Like child care is, a, it really is like a social right. If you want gender equality, if you don't want to relegate women to taking care of kids at home, if you want to have a society that has enough people in it to take care of the elderly, you gotta do, fuck it, we gotta subsidize child care. 25% of your income is a bonkers amount of money. That's yeah. an enormous amount of money. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a, the amount of money that you're spending, the amount of money that you're putting into your uh, into your uh, into child care that people have to spend, you know, 25 percent. And when they talk about 40 percent, if you if you are for 40 percent for housing, what the fuck left do you have? And then pack on that crippling student loan debt. Right. right? So yeah, add to true. that, think of that. Yep. student loan debt, which is through the yep. roof for so many different people. And then, you know, now the pandemic, there's, there was talking about because women's industries, a lot of industries for women uh, were hit hard during the pandemic, uh, they, a lot of women either stayed home or they had uh, a difficulty because they, they had to take off because there was no, the, like the school wasn't in. So they right. had to, they basically had to quit. So there's more women now more than ever are, are unemployed because of, the, because of COVID, but this could change everything for a lot of different people in the country. And, you know, this is one of those examples where, you know, this is the college, the college debt for somebody who's, who never went to college. Right. And they'll say things uh, to the effect of, Oh, well, I didn't go to college and I didn't rack up a bunch of debt and now I'm going to pay off all your debt. Well, the same thing <coughs> goes for my property taxes. The same thing goes for me paying for health care for our, our child care for kids I, I didn't have any kids. I made right. the I made the conscious decision 
when I was uh, in my 30s to get a vasectomy. I made that conscious decision to not procreate. I knew what I wanted in life and it was not children. And and I didn't and, and I don't ever hold that against anybody else. I don't ever look and say, well, my property taxes shouldn't go to pay for school. I don't have any kids. I don't ever think that. I don't oh, ever right. it never enters my mind. The same thing with this. I'm happy that my that my my tax dollars will go to help someone get back in the workforce if they want to to take their kid and and put them in, in, in child care that the government can help pay for, that the government can help fund. I'm happy for my money to go do that. And then you have crazy people like Michelle Bachman who think that they're literally going to take children away from people. Yeah, that I because know. they created this, Michelle Bachman <laughs> thinks they're going to come yep. to your house whether you want it or, want not, or not and take your kid and shove them in a fucking learning camp. Your to kids teach go to our LGBT FEMA daycare re-education camps yeah. now. <laughs> exactly. It's a fucking re-education. These people are crazy. But Genuinely, I I don't ever look at it as a way to like I, I don't bank I don't gain anything from it personally, but I gain something societally for it. Right, and, and I think that's important. Well, the thing is, like a stable, economically stable society, everybody benefits from. Everybody does personally benefit from it. Like yes, like like when you pay your property taxes. If you pay your property taxes and then your neighborhood has good schools, more people are likely to buy housing in your neighborhood and your home, your specific personal home's value goes up. Yeah. You're, so we gain things when we help other people. We yeah. and That's the thing that makes me sort of like nuts. Even if you only want to work for your own personal best interests, your personal selfish best interests are always best served by building a sustainable yeah. society yeah. that benefits Absolutely. the least of us. Yeah. I and I'm not gonna, like like the thing is is like I won't be in charge. I'm not in charge of anything anyway, right? right? I was never in charge of anything. But I'm not going to my generation won't be in charge of First off, we're generation X, so we're only going to be in charge for like a week. And then we're going <laughs> to get kicked out. It's going to we're going to have a week in there and that's it. But we will complain gener- about it though. Yeah, I will complain about yeah. it. We'll be angsty about it. We will wear our flannels and that's what we'll do. <laughs> but but seriously, the the uh the 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 fact is is that is that I want people that are going to be in charge that are knowledgeable, smart, well-adjusted people. And I can yep. help do that through money and tax dollars and and making sure that that happens. Great. I'll do it all day yeah. and twice on Sunday. Don't care. Yeah. I'll never see personally see like me personally see my kid in this school district getting, right. you know, the education. But does it matter to me? It's like no. a, a kid will get to school district and it's awesome. Yep. Yeah. It's like, like if if I want like I'm I'm relying on the next generation and I'm not relying on the four kids I've got. I'm relying on the next generation to come up with some big solutions, man. Like, yeah. yeah. I am absolutely. Uh, ben Johnson has, this is bullshit, Tom. Your property values go up and so do your taxes. Then you only see the profit if you sell and buy someplace with the worst market. That That's actually not. Your property values go up and so do your taxes, but they don't typically go up in exactly in lock, lockstep with one another. So, and then yeah. you could, you're eventually going to sell your house. Like Either that or your kids are going to get rising it. property values are something that if you own property you want. You don't want stagnant or declining property <laughs> values. That's that's silly. You don't. You, I you gotta don't say to too. Shout out here real quick. Shout out. <clears throat> is it Zeno? Am I saying that Zeno? I don't know if I'm saying I that correctly. So. But the always saying, always to every week, every, every week, week yep. always saying, hit that like button. Thank you so much for doing that every week. We don't. We, 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 we don't pay a lot of attention to that, but but that's awesome. Thank you so much. And I, I'm happy that you say that every week. So thank you. We should be, we should, I should subscribe to this show. I should like this show. Steve. You should like this show on I'm stuff. Gonna go. Yeah. Are we on the YouTubes? No, nah, maybe not no, for not long. Not anymore, huh? right? <laughs> maybe not for long. Thanks to Ian's, Ian's, uh, the way Ian's, I don't My know, thumbnails does stuff. It's I think it's your thumbnails thumbnail. and just, I think ever since you came on, Ian, we've, I just I want to point this out. Ever since you came on, we've had problems with uh, with YouTube. So that is true. That is the correlation. If you map it out, (laughs) it's it's directly caused by. That's true. It's got to be Ian's fault. That's what everyone is saying. I'm saying it. You know what? We we got our own David Smalley with the amount of sighs that come out of Ian. I gotta say, (laughs) they should have a sigh off. Yeah. They should totally sigh language. (laughs) Sigh. 